I picked a mortal and I'm going to be teaching you how to main harbor. Welcome back to my harbor only to diamond series. If you learned something new or enjoy, consider subscribing. When pushing on a site breeze, if you do this wall right here, it'll really help your team get on site way easier. This is a really aggressive play you could do when you're defending on B site. You just do this straight wall right here, then from there, you just slowly walk past it. And as long as they don't hard push themselves, you'll be able to get a flank on them and easily kill them. The way I was able to kill them so easily in this round was simply because of my crosshair placement. Not only that, but I also had another teammate holding that angle with me. Sadly, we weren't able to win the game and I ended up losing 1 RR, which means we now have 0 RR in Platinum 3. Let's go get RR back in the next game. Whenever you have Spike down, something you could do is put your orb right on top of Spike. From there, you could just sit in it and as soon as they enter the smoke, you should be able to easily kill them. When pushing on A site, if you do this wall right here, you should be able to help your team get on site way easier. And then from there, I was also able to push onto U wall and get U wall control. In this round, right after I got Brimstone ulted, I peeked out and just like that, I was able to easily find Brimstone hiding on the other side of the box. And from there, I saw Jet moving from some CT. Instead of me crouch spraying, I should have stood up and not crouched. But it's all good because I still ended up killing Jet. And then from there, right as I dropped, I realized Chamber was there holding Hugo with the Operator. So I did get a bit scared, but it's all good. Because for some reason, their Chamber sucks with the Operator. And just like that, I was able to easily go Chamber too. Whenever you see a Cypher Cage, don't be scared of it. For some reason, my team, as soon as they saw the Cypher Cage, it just started staying back and got scared. Oh, like, what's the point scared. of staying back when you look, see a look, cypher no cage? It's a cypher cage. Sadly, we ended up losing the game and I lost 19 RR and D ranked, meaning we now have 81 RR and Platinum 2. Let's go rank back up in the next game. Right before you're about to peek an angle, make sure you have your crosshair aligned already. In this round, if I didn't have my crosshair aligned, I would have not been able to kill Sage instantly. And then from there, right as I pushed, I saw Reyna's gun there. So because of that, I just stayed there. Because if I were to push up, I probably would have died. And since I was able to stay there, I also ended up easily killing her too, right as she pushed out. Sadly, we weren't able to win the game, meaning we lost 26 RR, which means we now 55 RR in Platinum 2. Let's go get RR back in the next game. Make sure to pay attention to where your teammates died. In this round, a few seconds ago, I saw my teammate die in kitchen, so I knew it's probably a few kitchen or at least close to kitchen. And because of that, I was able to easily kill two of them. Whenever you see a smoke that they don't use every round, they're probably going to go through it. So make sure you go through it and check it yourself or at least hold something near it. And then from there, I knew that there's probably not only one on mid, right? There's probably a few teammates with her. And just like that, I was also able to kill Yoru. And from there, I walked past mid That's onto spawn, and just like that, I was able to flank them, ah. kill one, flank a little farther, and easily kill the Let's other go. two. Don't be afraid to push up. In this round, as soon as the Why bear dropped, like, I started slowly like, pushing up, like, and just like that, right ah. as I peeked out, I was able to easily kill oh, two. And then from yeah, there, later that round, I just kept on holding that angle, word. right as our teammate put the smoke up, I pushed a little farther, had a little more deeper angle, and but just like that, I was able to kill Raze too. Oh my god. This is a really aggressive play you could do on Icebox whenever you're defending. That can almost guarantee you a kill if you have decent aim. As soon as the beer drops, you just go on the zip line and from there, you just jump out to here, peek up, and just like that, kill him and then drop down. This is how you can win pistol round. I just told my whole team to go B other than me and one of my teammates. And from there, when we were pushing on the site, I was able to fake pretty well. I was able to kill one, I put my wall up, my teammate died, and from there, I pushed a little farther and I ended up killing two more people. Then my team finally planted, which put them in a really good position to hold site as a 3v2. In this round, the way I get my team beast out is pretty simple. As soon as the beer dropped, I peeked. I was able to kill one because of my cross replacement aim. Then from there, I pushed a little farther, put my wall up, and just like that, I gave my team sight. Make sure to help your teammates in multiple angles. In this round, I helped my Reyna from pushing the omen from behind. And since I pushed the other team's omen from behind, that's how I was able to help my teammate and kill omen. From there, I pushed a little farther into snowman and I was able to kill sage. And just like that, I went back to site, got my team site once again, put my wall up, held site, and then from there, as soon as Yoru teleported, I was able to easily kill Yoru too. And from there, my wall was about to drop, so because of that, I just put my moving wall up, hid behind my moving wall, waited for the smoke, and he entered the smoke, and I was able to easily catch him off guard and kill him from behind. And just like that, we ended up winning the game, and I ended up doing so good 
but still I ended up only getting 18 RR. Like what? Oh, With go. the That's performance bonus, I get 18 RR? How oh, that makes sense. My MMR sucks. Right it's That's all good because we now have 73 RR and Platinum 2. <laughs> Let's go get our more RR in the next game. In this round, the way I was able to give my team a site was pretty simple. I just traded Reyna from the beginning of the round. From there, I just altered that entire site, put my wall up, and then while we were entering onto site, I was able to close door and kill another one. And just like that, my team has site. Don't be afraid to push. In this round, me and my Cypher both pushed into main, and then from there, I was able to easily kill Phoenix. And then right after that, I peeked a little farther and I was able to kill kill Fate. Too. But right as that happened, our tripwire got activated mid. Because of that, me and Zypher went back mid. And just like that, I was able to kill Sova too. Make sure to talk to your team. In this round, I told our KO to flash this as soon as the beer drops. And just like that, as soon as he flashed, I was able to kill Chamber. Then from there, I pushed a little farther and I was able to kill Sage too. In this round, the way I was able to kill two people was pretty simple. So first, I picked up the Vandal because, you know, whenever the Vandal is Gunskin, the Vandal is better than the Phantom. That's just undeniable, right? Then right as I picked up the Vandal, I traded off my jet. And from there, I just waited for the Cypher to know where Silva was. And then right as I found he was behind me, I just peeked that. And because of my god cost replacement, I was able to kill Silva too. Sadly, we were able to win overtime, and because of that, we ended up losing 18 RR, which means we now have 55 RR in Platinum 2. Let's go get RR back in the next game. As a team, it's very easy to win Pistol Run. You just have to play as a team and work together. If you don't do that, you probably won't win. But if you are able to do that, you have a higher chance of winning. When you're playing Harbor, you're literally the best agent to take Seaside with. You just put your wall up. To split the side in half and then from there you just put your moving wall up and follow right behind it and just like that you probably should have given your team sight whenever you smoked off some angle post plant what you could do is just hide inside of it because not a lot of people expect you to just peek in front of it and then from there you should be able to kill one or at least catch an off guard and then from there if you're feeling risky you could peek even farther and push even farther and just like that i was able to kill three people in this round, the way I was able to kill four of them was pretty simple. As soon as I found out they were pushing Seaside, I just put this wall up. And right as I got to Seaside, Reyna was already on site. So because of that, I ended up easily killing Reyna. And then from there, I just picked up her gun. Kept on shooting through the smoke because I knew a lot of people were past the smoke. And just like that, I ended up killing another person. And the way I killed the third person was as soon as the smokes went away, I was able to clearly see one and I was able to easily kill him. From there, I just pushed a little farther, saw Sage, and just like that, the last one's dead too. Whenever you're trying to retake site, if you use your harbor ult, the retake's gonna be way easier. In this round, right as I ulted, I was able to easily kill Neon. And then from there, I pushed a little farther and I was able to kill Solva too. And then from there, Viper easily stuck the plant because the last one was deep CT. Sadly, we ended up losing the game and I lost 16 RR, which means we now have 39 RR in Platinum 2. If you learned something new or enjoy, consider subscribing. I coach my viewers for free. If you want to get code, just comment down your Discord name and join my Discord server. I also stream all of this live right here on my YouTube.